Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh, do do da day. What's going on guys? Back for another day in the garage. Today we're gonna start working on Mini Klaus. That's just what I've said so far is Mini Klaus because I don't know what to name him. You guys should leave some names down in the comments because I have no idea what to call him. I already have some parts on order right now. Uh, well, we already got the header in. Uh, I got a rectifier coming, a wiring harness coming. Uh, we'll have to get like a tack and good old stuff like that still gotta get a jack shaft but we got some parts coming i think today i'm gonna need to get it cleaned up and scuffed up and start getting some paint on it because right now it's like a hunter orange and i'm not an orange fan so it's gonna go red i have like 10 cans of this red and black left over from klaus and for touch up so i'm just gonna use the same stuff Corey popped in. He's in town. Helped out. Uh, we stripped it all out. Got all those parts right there. I think basically whatever's over here, gonna paint black. And then this cage is gonna go red because I have so much leftover paint from Klaus. So I got some sandpaper. I'm just gonna rub it over lightly so it sticks. And then either vacuum it up or wipe off the dust. And give it a quick coat. And then it probably won't be dry till tomorrow. Well. I realized if I left the garage open and the camera in here while I painted everything, that the camera would get covered and everything in the shop would get covered. So I ended up just closing it off in here, venting, didn't record it, that way we didn't get everything destroyed and covered in paint. But here it is, and I went ahead and started putting some stuff back together. I think that red and black paint scheme is going to look really good. Took it down to bare frame we sanded it probably put about four coats of this red on it which is the same red as Klaus because I bought cases of that red paint had it laying around got all that put together since we were missing basically all the hardware anyways I just went out and got nice new grade 8 hardware so it'll be much much safer steering hooked up I got new tie rod ends coming what else that we got seats coming this at our local speed shop they had this laying on the shelf for 10 bucks looks like a five gallon fuel cell an fittings so i'm probably gonna put that right here and i'll have to cut here and here that way it'll drop down then oh started painting the rims wheels whatever you want to call them gold of course you gotta do red and gold then this is the axle i got one side off right here the bearings got new bearings coming then on this side it will not come off but i've had this soaking for a day i've had the torch on it i had it glowing red beating the crap out of it with a hammer which i got a new one coming anyways because i was destroying this one and it will not come off no matter what i do so the next step is i'm going to cut it off because now with this all off this was my plan. Instead of doing the jack shaft set up, it's going to go like right there, but underneath of it. It's hard to visualize. And then this, where the brake rotor is, is going to be a sprocket, and then I'll swap it right here. But it'll go somewhere right here, and I know to do that, I'm going to have to cut off this plate. Yeah, 
Oh well, but I think that way then. Basically like up here will be the small sprocket for the engine and then it can go straight down to the axle and I will not need that jack shaft because it seems like that's going to be a nightmare to get that thing to work correctly. We're going to try that. Made a lot of progress. We got the engine sitting there, got the header, got all kinds of good stuff. So you saw the gas tank. I'm going to make some cuts there. That's going to sit down there. Battery will go in this box right here. Axle, I actually got that freaking hub cap or whatever you want to call it cap off. I had to end up cutting it and then hammering it off. But where this rotor is, it's actually going to be where the sprocket is. And it hits about right here. So I have to cut all this out. Because I'm thinking with it right there, that's going to line up with line up with the chain right there at least that's what i'm hoping for so i'm gonna start out by cutting that up and see where we go from there That is mounted up. Now, the sprocket's gonna be right here. And we'll see if the engine can go right, like here. I don't know if it will. We're gonna give it a little practice. I might have to get out the cherry picker here to help support it. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's really hard by yourself, but we're gonna get through it and keep going. Well, my plan isn't gonna work, guys started getting it up close here so that would be where our sprocket is where the gear is right here back there and that's just about right on top of it and there's no way it's gonna go straight down you got the oil filter and all that stuff there engine can't really go that much farther forward and see so you got like part of the frame and stuff down here so like the most it could go is like way out here so uh, means we're gonna have to do that stupid jack shaft that I didn't want to do because that's just more moving parts more things to break but that sucks oh well but if we push the engine to the right a little bit which I'm thinking right about here that'll almost bring shifter and the shift rod straight down the center so that'll fix that problem which would be pretty nice and yep it'd have it sit like right there in between it but oh well what are you gonna do that's fabricating yeah I had to take off the rack to get this in all the way you guys remember we had many, many problems with Klaus, but that's just the way it is. So I guess I'm going to start researching jack shafts and how to build one and how to make one. I'm thinking, yeah, the engine, like here's the mounts there and there and up there. Brace it off of there, brace it off of here. The jack shaft will also have to get triangulated or somehow around on all of that oh this is gonna be so much fun cannot wait that was gonna be easy why do i think it was gonna be easy oh well found some broken parts on the carbs but that's it for this one guys i'm gonna end it off and i will see you on the next video where we're hopefully building a jack shaft